A racist guy was confronted by a black woman on a four-hour flight from Puerto Rico to Atlanta. Take a look at this. You know what? I wasn't going to say anything. I wasn't going to say anything, but I decided I want you to feel as uncomfortable as I do. And I want you to know that I saw your text messages and I think you're disgusting. What text messages? You know exactly what I'm oh. talking about. I'm not, I'm not going to repeat it because everybody doesn't need to know, but I want you to know that I know. I saw you and I think that you're disgusting. You don't have anything to say to that, right? Yeah, I, I didn't think so. And, and speaking of, yeah, you, you should. And speaking of airlines weeding people out, maybe if they raise prices, you, you know, maybe you wouldn't be able to afford to sit with your family. That way they don't have to sit next to black people. Okay? Yeah. No, yeah, you're not, you don't have to be sorry to me. You're sorry because I saw it. But I want you to feel as uncomfortable as I do sitting next to you. Uh-huh. You should be. It's so sad that in this day and age, we still have such individuals in our communities. I'm so sorry that this woman had to experience such. It took a lot of courage, I believe. Please take your time to watch this clip of a neighborhood Karen in the wild. Watch this. It's all on video. As I ran into him. How can I ran into him when I'm in my own neighborhood? I am in my name. Uh, I live right there. That doesn't mean I go wherever I want. You need to come here now and arrest them. I got this. Now. Yeah. No! I'm a person yeah. my house! Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And they will not let they me live right in my neighborhood! That's what she was saying. They're not about to they are mother. slapping me in my chest! That's I guess. Her. I guess. This is the way. It's like, yeah, it's like. Yeah, it's like it's people who see supportive of her are just like, I just need to get out. <laughs> yeah, yeah actually, she does have a weapon and she's using her flag! Uh, shut the up! Oh, no. Like booze. She's been drinking all day. By the way. Yeah, yeah seriously. You're drinking all day long. You smell the booze. Smell the booze from here. Yeah, let's go. Seriously. He said this woman has a weapon. <laughs> seriously. You boys saw the way from down the street. Nobody was actually balking you or bothering you. Oh, and no. you came up here and caught No, no, that's exactly what she did. Yeah, and we can not just smell that alcohol on you. That mom lost her baby on the street. I know about that. So then why the f*** went you out there? So then what are you doing? Ma'am, you're drunk. Think about it for a second. I feel bad. Then please stop. Yeah. Just go home. Or stand here. If you don't want to be here, don't go home. That's it. That's all that it is. You're quiet because you're thinking about it. Thank you for thinking about it. Thank you. Just think about it. Miss Karen here do not have any business drinking at all. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Drama at a days in hotel between a guest and the hotel manager. You have got to see this. Take a look. All right, so go ahead. What was you saying? <laughs> what was you saying? What's your work, buddy? Well, he was calling me ghetto. Well, what else? What did you say? I was in prison. What else? What did you say? Come on, what, what are you else? talking about, buddy? Come on, tell me what it is you're talking about. I want to hear about this. Go ahead, go ahead. Come on. Say what you were saying. Come on, let's hear what you got to say, Chuck Chuck. Say what you were saying. Come on, Chuck Chuck. Say what you were saying. Come on, boy. Come on, prison boy. Prison boy. Prison boy. That old prison boy here. Look at prison boy. Yeah, look at that little f hair dud he's got. Looks like a pop. Look at it. Days in hotel. Look at that Virginia. Look at that. Look at all that shit all over his face. You know you can't even see his fucking all this. This is how I'm being treated right now by this guy. And I've been staying here for two nights. Yeah. I've been staying here for two nights and this look with how look how this guy's treating a customer. <laughs> I think you better leave before you get yourself in trouble, son. This video's gonna go viral.
You're gonna lose your job. I, right? You're Son, gonna lose your I don't job. care. You're gonna lose your job. I, you think I'm worried about this job? You're gonna lose your Do job. Do you really think I care about this job? You're gonna lose your job. Do you really think I care? I ain't gonna lose my job over you. Okay. Bye. Keep talking. Keep talking. Get out of here. Call the cops. Call the cops. You're in here creating a problem. Now get out. Go ahead. Call the cops. Because this is my card. I've been staying here at the Days Inn. This gentleman right here harassing me, calling me all kinds of names by the way that I look. Yeah, I go. Now he's calling the cops. Please do. Go ahead. And this person right here, not to throw you on. Yeah, but witness the, the argument between us two. Yeah, I don't care about this chump. Yeah, he's a little street punk. That's all he is. He ain't nothing to me. He's nothing. He's always been nothing. He'll always be nothing. Look at him. Mind you, he, he doesn't even know who I am. He don't know who I am. He's a goddamn mop for a hair. I don't know him either. I don't know him either. He ain't nothing to me. What's your name, sir? What's yours? Chris? Which, your name's Craig? Chris. Chris? Yes. Then you know half of it, don't you? So what's your name? Be happy with that. What's your name? You don't need to know. Oh, okay. I give you my but name. But you really want to know? His name is Cujo. I give you my name, you can't give me your name? Your name is Cujo, Chuck. My name is Cujo. Get over it. You work here and this is how you treat a customer. Son, you ain't no customer. Either. You're just a little street punk. A guest. That's all you will ever do. You haven't, got your, you haven't got your shit together, look at you. You're up here acting like a little two-year-old child. You, don't you, think, you think I'm going to treat you like an adult you don't when you're you conducting me. yourself? You, don't you think I'm going to give you special treatment because of who you think you are? I don't think I'm nobody. You think you're going to come in here looking like, God, look like something come off the damn trash pile? Yeah. No, that ain't, ain't going to happen, son. Okay. The girls may treat you like that. Okay. Maybe they do. Yeah. I ain't going to treat you like that. Okay. You're nothing to me. Thank you very much. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. You're you, quite welcome. You, you have, have a good day. one. Yes. Bye. You too. As far as I'm concerned, the hotel manager was very unprofessional. You do not treat your guests in this manner. Don't you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. This Walmart manager was allegedly caught stealing from a customer take a look at this hey hello could you do me a favor and tell me who this is where register nine three oh one this morning right do you know who that is hmm? do you know who that is i'm the one that took care of you okay do you that's what i thought um you know that you didn't put the money on the card, right? Yeah, I did, huh? No, you, you didn't. My manager, the manager came in here, and this clearly says that it is on there. But I, but I don't own a, I don't own a, a Walmart money card. I've never owned one. Well, I swiped your Bluebird card. Right, you swiped my Bluebird card. But why does it say Walmart? I re remember you swiped right. it. I understand that, but, but and you just admitted you swiped it. I swiped your Bluebird card. Right, and that's what I said. Walmart Bluebird card. I mean, um, American Express Bluebird card. Right. This clearly says, uh, what does that say right there? It tells me the Walmart reload. Right, but you must have hit the wrong thing. Honey. No. All you, you do is, no. all I do mm -hmm. is hit a 70 action code. Okay. And then I swipe your card. Right, and you just admitted that you swiped my Bluebird card, but this clearly says Walmart money card. Right, but that pops up once I swipe the card. Okay, do you know? It's nothing that I press. Okay, but do you know that uh, they said that I had a Walmart money card? I've never owned a Walmart money card. I need, I need that money back. It's not on my card. You would have to talk to Crystal. Okay. Um, during the day. You, you know, I am going to report you because you just admitted. And I have it on video, and I'm live now. So that means you ripped me off. I swiped you, your you, Bluebird right, card. Right, you swiped my Bluebird card. So but it should be on your Bluebird card. It's not. Would you like me to show you? Then that's something with the system that's not. Okay, I understand. But I, it clearly states on here, 
and I'm recording you right now. I it, and that's fine. But it clearly states that, and you just admit it twice, that you swiped my Bluebird card. Yeah, that's the only card I swiped. Right, and I, and I get it, but there must be some glitch or some problem or, or you're being untruthful. I'm going to get to the bottom of it, so I just want to let you know, okay. Emily. I'm gonna, and, and you're smirking because you think it's funny. No, I don't, ma'am. Yeah. I, I swiped the card you gave me. Right, a Bluebird card, but it clearly states on here that it says Walmart money card reload. Right, and that pops up once I swipe your card. It's nothing that I press. Right, but, and, and, but I get it, but why is that not on my card? Why is that gone? Numbers don't match. I don't know why that is, ma'am. If you're, if you're truly innocent, I truly apologize, but I want my money back. Oh, I have, I have you, you on video. You gave me the cash. Right. I swiped the card you gave The Bluebird me, card. And all I do is press 70. And I understand. Action code. I and understand. that loads. That's what we press for Well, then it, then it must be a glitch in the system because I have you on here and it's recorded. So let me see Crystal, please. Crystal is not here. Either. Right. She's not here. Right. Okay. Well, I got Wait, you on you, video. You can talk to Kenitra, that's the assistant manager. Let me speak to Kenitra, please. Go get her. Kenitra? I have a customer that would like to speak to you. And you also charged me a $3 fee. Bluebird does not do fees. I understand that. Right. I have a customer that would like to speak to you on the front end. If it's truly a glitch in the system, I truly apologize. But I never should have been put for Walmart money card reload because I don't own a Walmart card. I understand that. Right. Like, I get what you're telling me. Yeah. But all I, I do... Basic, I basically was called a liar earlier. The Walmart manager claimed the transaction was a mistake. Do you think it was a mistake or she actually stole from that customer? Let me know what you think in the comment section. Is this an example of a cop going fishing in a private neighborhood? Take a look at this. Can I help you? Yeah, we got a call about a suspicious vehicle in the area and it matches his description. What's suspicious? Uh, he said you've been parked in front of his house. You were parked in front of his house for about an hour, hour and a half. Yeah. Is that suspicious? Yeah, that is kind of strange. What's going on? Nothing. Just sitting in my car. Okay. You live here? It doesn't matter. This is public. Okay. You got your ID on you? I'm not getting ID'd. I haven't committed a crime. Why would you I need my ID? Because I this is a, a, a private neighborhood. This is a pretty quiet neighborhood. Okay, is this a public place or, or a private place? It is a public road, correct. Right. Thank you. Am I have I committed a crime by sitting here? No. Okay. Then I would not like to ID myself because it's my right to not ID myself. What, what, what is the issue here? There is no issue. I'm over here minding my own business, sitting in my car, and you're coming up to me. Correct. Because yes. I'm getting a call. It about doesn't you matter if you get a call. I've done nothing illegal. People can call all they want. Do you call? Do you, you run out and talk to everybody that's parked in their car? Uh, when they've been sitting in front of a house for an hour and a half, I generally do. Okay. Well, I'm not doing anything okay. illegal. I'm trying to be very respectful to you. I've done nothing wrong. I'm not committing any crimes. I'm sitting okay. in my car minding my own business. I think you sufficiently checked out that there's nothing wrong. Do I look like a criminal? I don't know. I don't know where you live at. I it don't doesn't know who matter you where. Are. It doesn't matter where I live. Why does that matter? You know, the criminals could be. Uh, I've, we've got a guy in Tulsa that was driving a 2019. Do you suspect me of a crime? I suspect that you're in a neighborhood where you don't belong. Okay, and so why don't they I don't recognize in? the vehicle? I'm why just trying to figure out what you're doing here. It's none of your business what I'm doing here. I don't have to tell you what I'm doing. Okay. There's nothing illegal about what I'm doing. This is not a private neighborhood. I'm not in a gated area. I didn't pass any, no trespassing signs. I'm on a public road, minding my own business in my car. Okay. So leave me alone. All right. Okay. You're dismissed. Thank you. Uh, no, that's not how this works, but okay. Wait a minute. 
since when are drivers not allowed to go to private neighborhoods let me know what you think in the comment section this is an instance of when a next door neighbor who is also a karen stops by to say hello take a look at this Okay, then give me your full name. Go for it. Tell me some illegal paperwork, because I know you didn't buy this house. You don't have enough money. Get off my property. Is Mike and Leslie your real estate agent? Do it. American citizen angry at your assholes. What would you have done if after you have watched your ring camera video and you saw your next door neighbor acting like this? Let me know what you would have done in the comment section. Finally, for this episode, take a look at this so-called New York City attorney who yanks off a lady's wig and just walked off. Take a look at this drama. Sir, for what reason? For what reason? For what reason did you take my wig off? Because what what made you think that that was the good thing to do? What made you think that that was the good thing to do? For what? For what? Why did you do that? What makes you think that that's okay? Is that funny? Is that funny? You don't even know me. Are you, do you hate women or something? Why did you take my wig off and keep walking? Well, the most current update on this case is that the lawyer got fired. I think he deserves it. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section.